We begin with some breaking news out of Singapore this hour. One person has died after an uncompleted highway collapsed in the eastern part of the country. Just after 3.30 a.m. Singapore time, the Singapore Civil Defence Force tweeted that there was an incident involving a collapsed structure at the Penn Island Expressway heading towards Changi Airport. The exit towards the Tampanese Expressway, 10 people were working on the structure, which was part of a highway under construction when it came down. And, we and we're going to cross to our reporter on the site of the incident, Leong Waikit. Uh, Waikit, give us all the details of what has been happening so far. Yes, guys, uh, like you said, the rescue operations have ceased and that means workers have been accounted for. What I do know so far is that 10 workers have been sent to Changi General Hospital. That's the hospital nearest uh, from this accident site. One worker has died. In fact, if you can see behind me the blinking light of the black vehicle, that's a police uh, hearse. Um, and nearby the police hearse, there's one tent. Uh, understandably, that's a police body tent. Like I said, one worker has died. Um, Earlier, they were uh, uh, cordoning off this uh, area because the working day has begun in Singapore. If you take a quick look with me, I'm standing just right beside the expressway. Cars are now driving past. Um, for now, the authorities' next aim is to make sure people who are driving here are safe. And at the same time, they will also try to clear the rubble uh, before a full investigation uh, will be conducted. Once again, a very quick recap. This accident happened at 3.30 a.m. Singapore time. Uh, ten workers have been sent to Changi General Hospital. Uh, one worker has died. And SCDF says uh, they sent about 60 uh, uh, officers on the ground for this rescue mission. Guys? Uh, Waikid, can you give us a sense as to exactly what happened? How did the uh, uh, part of the structure collapse? Well, Lance, at this period, we're still trying to gather official information. Uh, understandably, many agencies are on the ground. Um, so the SCDF uh, guys are also here trying to give us updates as to what happened. Uh, whether or not, uh, uh, I, I beg your pardon, they have not given us any confirmation as to what happened. Uh, we will give, bring you the latest one when we have them. Uh, earlier, the SCDF guys said they have already uh, ceased operations, and that means the uh, all workers have been uh, accounted for. We will bring you the latest once we have confirmation as to what happened uh, uh, at, at the uh, accident site. Lance. And uh, Waikit, Yvonne here, you said that uh, 10 workers have been sent to the hospital. Are there any updates uh, on their condition? Well, Yvonne, I have not uh, been able to get updates of the conditions of the uh, workers sent to the, ho uh, to the hospital, but I have seen some photos uh, circulating uh, uh, by my colleagues. Uh, some of them are in wheelchairs, but these are... Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure whether these workers were the ones uh, that have been sent uh, from the accident site. I'm not going to take a quick walk back to the accident site so that you can see um, my, my background. Um, the police has is now reversing, uh, and this can be an indication, of course, to retrieve the body of, uh, of, of the worker who has been confirmed to have died in this uh, accident. We are still trying to gather uh, more information at this point, but this is uh, so far the picture that we have for you guys. Okay, All thank right, you very Wyatt. much, Wyatt. Wyatt uh, 